Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletieri, and this is a special Saturday air pollen and air quality report for Saturday, the 27th day of the month of July, 2024. Now, pretty much covers the whole weekend, and of course, uh, a lot of folks out and about as we are now at late July, last weekend of the month of July, a month that's been uh, quite warm, and uh, taking a look at uh, a lot of outdoor conditions, you know, at least the weather in the northeast quarter, and from the Great Lakes all the way up to the northeast and mid-Atlantic is doing pretty good. Uh, we, however, do have uh, other conditions that make it a little bit tough to be out of doors, especially those who are susceptible to pollens. Now, today's grass pollen is the worst across New Jersey and also across western portions of New York State, northern Pennsylvania, and central New York State. And it's up in uh, Saratoga at the uh, Saratoga Race Course during the daytime on Friday. And although it was a beautiful day, you should see a little bit of haze in the sky, even though we had a little bit of a north wind, and you can tell uh, that there was uh, quite a bit of uh, pollutant as far as either grass or even ragweed pollen. And that, of course, makes a lot of folks very uncomfortable. Elsewhere across the nation, we see North Dakota and South Dakota. North Dakota being the worst with uh, the grass pollen, and the heavy grass pollen, as you would normally expect, in central and eastern portions of both Kansas and Nebraska. A lot of growing going on right now, but just about all across the nation. Uh, moderate amounts of grass pollens extend from Maine all the way down to Virginia, westward into West Texas, all the way out into California, uh, except for the southeastern portion of the California and southern Arizona, New Mexico, where the heat and the dry conditions and even some scattered showers and monsoons across the Four Corners region is keeping the air a little bit cleaner there. Uh, prospects for the day, looking at overall pollen being quite tough where I just mentioned. Ragweed is also tough all across the northern tier. For tomorrow, the air quality is expected to be a little bit better. We're seeing a little bit better from the Great Lakes south to the Gulf Coast and into central northern Florida. But it's still tough over the west. Actually, uh, the heaviest amounts of air quality being the worst over southern Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, northwestern portions of uh, Arizona, and southeastern California. As far as the grass pollen is concerned, still very tough. It's going to be a tough day for New Jersey, New York, and uh, just around all across the northeast Carter from D.C. up to the Boston area. Grass pollen will be a tough thing, so if you're having a tough time out of doors, a lot of eye-watering, uh, nose, uh, even uh, feeling like you have a cold, it probably has something to do with that excessive amount of grass pollen that we're seeing for the daytime on Sunday. Similar situation for overall pollen and ragweed, not too bad, but still a factor that is adding into the air quality across the northern tier on Sunday. So tough weekend as far as pollens are concerned. So just thought I'd put a little extra information in there if, in fact, you are susceptible to air quality being on the lousy side. And uh, pollens, both uh, ragweed and also grass pollen, and that is going to be a problem for this weekend and probably will continue into early next week as we head into the last few days of this month of July. Hope you have a great weekend. Otherwise, that's uh, looking at uh, generally conditions in very nice in the northeast, but in other places there is quite a bit of rainy weather across the Gulf Coast, and we have more on that to say on tomorrow's report. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.